one of my favorite questions. At Dahlia1553 asks, do you guys enjoy slow dances or do you just do it to seem romantic? A lot of guys probably do it because of the stereotype of it being romantic, but personally I love dancing for one reason one reason alone, to show them that I can't dance and that I'm willing to embarrass myself to make them laugh. And if I do happen to get a few moves right, dancing provides an intimacy that you can't really get anywhere else. RosiePosy16 asks, what can I give my boyfriend on his 21st birthday? I want it to be special, but not collage type stuff. That's great, because your 21 year old boyfriend probably doesn't want a collage for his 21st birthday. He'd probably love a good dinner at his favorite restaurant, some quality time with his girlfriend, and an embarrassing card that both of you can laugh at. Reseda Canom asks, Dear Hunter, there's a boy in my math class who keeps on staring at me. Does he like me? Please help. Well, I have to ask, is he a cute? If so, just try angling your eyes back at him and let's just hope you don't find some crazy ex. No, but honestly, just give him a look back. If he keeps staring but doesn't say anything, he might just be really, really shy. Or he's a serial killer and you should stop staring at him completely. At Chloe Zigzag asks, how do you know when you're getting too clingy? If you have to ask yourself if you're being too clingy, then you're probably being too clingy clingy. But just feel it out. If the person is trying to spend more time away from you, you're probably being too clingy. But if they're looking to spend more time with you, you're doing everything right and you have nothing to worry about. Also, you can feel free to ask them if you're being too clingy. Just don't ask more than once because if you're the girl who's like, am I too clingy? Am I too clingy? Am I too clingy? Am I too clingy? That's too clingy! At Zoe WBU asks, how do you know if a guy is actually in love with you and not just messing around? When a guy falls in love with you, he flat out changes. He starts caring more about you than he does his work, his friends, and even himself. And when this happens, he won't have the strength to not tell you how much he loves you every single day. At Sully Smile asks, what is the best way to say that you're not interested? The worst way is through a cruel text message, but the best way is by honestly explaining why you're uninterested without being cruel or judgmental. But again, I did a whole video about this. If you guys wanna find out more about telling someone you're not interested in them, make sure to check out the link in the info section below. Thank you guys so much for your amazing questions. I really love doing this, and if you like these Twitter question style videos, let me know by liking this video. Also, send in your Twitter questions so I can answer them next time. So to do that, click this link right here or click the link in the info section below to get this week's secret hashtag that I will try my hardest to respond to. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next week. Bye. Hey guys, thanks so much for your love and support on season one of Cheerleaders. So, we have some really exciting news. We're back for season two! Go Snowman! your fault. People cheat for a number of different reasons, but not one of them is you. These though are some of the reasons that people cheat. Number one, they want to know that they still have it. Some grossly insecure four, five, six people. music asks, how do I talk to a guy that's in the popular group? The popular group is an extremely difficult thing to infiltrate, but who wants to be a part of that group anyway? The boys you should be going after are the ones who are 